Forza Horizon 5 to 10 Beginners Tips and Tricks to Keep in Mind Given how large Forza Horizon 5's Mexico is and how packed it is with things to do, it goes without saying that players are going to be spending a lot of time in Playground Games' newest open-world racer. Forza Horizon 5, like its predecessors, is a much more accessible and easy-going racing experience than its simulation-focused Forza Motorsport counterparts. Rather than bashing through obstacles and opponents, you're asked to stick to your lines and follow the course as you race to the finish line even though the game isn't too strict about that. Though it does focus a great deal more on arcadey racing than Forza Motorsport games, Forza Horizon 5, like its predecessors, doesn't go all in on that particular style either. They look really cool, of course, and you get skill points for making those jumps, but when you land, you lose a lot of speed, which is the last thing you want in a race obviously, avoiding jumps isn't always possible, a lot of the times they're built into the design of the courses themselves, but if it is possible, you should try and do so. Whether you're participating in events or simply aimlessly driving about the open world, pulling off tricks like drifts or jumps or near misses or what have you rewards you with skill points, which in turn are needed to level up and gain skill points. Forza Horizon 5 doesn't emphasize this aspect of progression a great deal, which means you're not going to be left behind if you're not exactly the kind of player that likes pulling off tricks but if you are, chaining together tricks can be very useful. The more tricks you chain together, the higher your multiplier goes, and within seconds, if you've chained enough skills together, you're going to be looking at a pretty healthy payout of points. While not crucial to the experience, in fact, it's entirely skippable if you want, a lot of these upgrades can be pretty useful. One of the most useful unlocks lets you crash twice before losing your skill chain instead of just once, which is the default, but these tend to be pretty costly for each vehicle, so if you do want these upgrades, you're going to have to save up for them. Forza Horizon 5 encourages you to experiment with a variety of different vehicles, of which it has literally hundreds across a number of different classes, categories, and eras. You're going to be unlocking vehicles at a pretty regular clip, and given how many different specialized events and activities can be found throughout the world that each require different kinds of vehicles, it's never a good idea to focus too much on just one. Of course, investing in a single vehicle per class is the smart move, but you do need to have a diverse garage with viable options across different categories, so make sure you keep trying out any new vehicles you unlock that catch your eye. Customizing the ones you like and improving them with upgrades is an important part of Forza Horizon 5's gameplay loop. Customizing vehicles, buying houses, purchasing cosmetics, and other activities in Forza Horizon 5 requires money, or credits, as the game calls them, and while the game thankfully isn't awfully stringent with how much money it hands to the player, and how frequently it does it, there are ways to boost your payouts if you're looking to do that. Meanwhile, the auction house is also a viable alternative for making a quick buck, so if there are vehicles in your garage that you know you're not going to use, don't hoard them. The barn finds mechanic returns in Forza Horizon 5, and just as it was in the previous game, there are solid activities here that shouldn't be missed. Houses, too, are a returning feature in Forza Horizon 5. Scattered throughout Mexico are various properties that you can purchase, one of which can be set as your active house at any given time. A lot of these can be pretty expensive, of course, but making sure that you've purchased every available house on the map is something that you should be working towards nonetheless. Other than the fact that it'll contribute to your completion of the game, each house you purchased also comes with a unique perk, from rewarding you with wheel spins to unlocking new cars, so tracking down these properties and claiming them for yourself is always a good idea. This is something that most Forza Horizon players won't need to be told, but if you're a newcomer, it's worth keeping in mind. Forza Horizon 5 regularly awards players wheel spins and super wheel spins, with their randomized pool of rewards including everything from credits and cosmetics to emotes and new cars, 